Welcome back. Let's check in with Eamon Javers on Capitol Hill today as the meeting with tech executives with on AI has now wrapped. Eamon, what's the latest? Hey there, Kelly. Well, it's been a, kind of a wild scene out here on the sidewalk over the past couple of minutes. We've seen uh, Bill Gates walk out, Sundar Pichai walk out, Mark Zuckerberg uh, left the meeting. I had a chance to catch up uh, with Elon Musk and talk to him. He was in a fairly chatty mood, I have to say, Kelly. A lot of these CEOs just walking right by stone-faced with their security detail, not wanting to chat. Uh, Elon did pause and take a few questions, and I asked him how the meeting went. He said he thinks this was a historic meeting uh, in the room today. He also said that he thinks that some of the senators in the room anyway are considering a really a radical overhaul of the way the U.S. government relates to AI. Take a listen to what he had to say. I think the probability of there being some sort of AI regulatory agency that stands on its own, similar to the FAA or FCC, is likely at some point. You think so? I think so. Um, now, the, the, the reason that I've been such an advocate for uh, AI safety in advance of sort of anything terrible happening is that I think the consequences of AI going wrong are, are severe. Um, so we have to be proactive rather than reactive. So as I was talking to Elon there, you can get a sense that he's putting all this in a, in a vast sort of civilizational frame, right? I mean, he's talking about the potential for AI to do harm to civilization across the board. That's something you don't really hear on Capitol Hill a lot of talk about, right? And so you wonder how that kind of sort of idealistic or society-wide approach to AI merges with the sort of legalistic, legislative, and lobbying approach inside the building here of some of these other CEOs and executives who are attending this AI forum today. How many of them are thinking of the future of human civilization and how many of them are thinking of the future of their company's bottom line? That's the tension here at, at this meeting, Kelly, as we watch and wait for some of those CEOs to come back. And we expect the rest of this session is going to go on throughout the afternoon without some of those big names. But of course, some important discussion still to come for the rest of the day. Back over to you. Yeah, a historical day, I, I think. Uh, and it's interesting to watch the senator's comments come in as well on, on what direction they think this is headed. Eamon, for now, thank you. We appreciate it. We'll check back Back in soon. You bet. Our Eamon Javers in Washington.